Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase. Today we are going to learn how to generate the assess token. In this video, we are going to learn those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So why there is a requirement of generating the assess token? Because cloud messaging API legacy is disabled now. So you, there is no more server key to send the push notifications and the URL is also updated. So here you can see that in the documentation also they said that they require authorization before it is authorization key. But now authorization where are you required? Okay, for this you need to generate the auth 2.0 assess token right from the service account. So, so we require the service account.json file to generate the auth 2.0 assess token, right? And what would be the URL? And the URL is also modified. So previously we are using this URL, and now the URL would be with projects with project ID and the messages call and send. So these changes has been done by the Firebase and after June 20, uh, the previous server key will be dismissed, right? So in that case, we have to upgrade our Firebase push notifications, right? So let's get started. So basically, this is the URL where we are sending the push notifications and we require the assess token. So first of all, we have to generate the assess token, okay? So for this, we require the service file. So here we have service accounts right so go there and just generate the service account file over here uh, so currently i am uh, today we are i'm going to teach you with the curl request in the last two videos we have done with the node.js we have done with the php now we are doing with the curl after that we will do with the python okay so this this is the playlist new firebase push notifications you will get the node.js php from here okay so this is here now you can generate a new key pair it will give you the just account file okay service account file dot json file okay just create generate and it will give you that file okay and uh, for the code requirement here you can see that let me just copy and paste currently it's in the php right now so i'm using the curl request okay so curl request can be hated anywhere okay so copy this and opening any project for me so php or HTML? where is php yeah so let's create open in a terminal touch firebase push dot php hope so its file is not exist firebase push dot php where it is yeah it's there open with vs code Let me check the services. Okay, it's okay. Now, let's paste this code. Okay. So, let's update the code with the service account files. Word wrap this. I think we have already service account files here. Yeah, this is service account file. So, just rename it. Control A, Control C. So, I need to just make it over here. So, where is the service account file? Yeah, this is path to service account files. So I'm going to add it over here. This with the service account file. Okay, this is done. After this, client private key will give get it from there. Let me check another one. That is the project ID. So here we go with our project ID, right? So let me add the project ID over here. So this we go. We have to go with the clip journal then project id just copy and paste it and paste it over here okay and here we have the expiration also so you can make it like this so this is done let's try to generate the token and php firebase dot push firebase dot push dot php and uh, the registration token is invalid yeah so because token is not generated yet so let's generate the token also so let me open my next JS project for this which is the firebase push no cloud messaging i have already implemented so where is next project next firebase open in the, with the terminal nvm use node 20 npm run dev 
so let's copy the link and let's go with the chrome and let's run this and here we receive the fcm token so just copy and this copy this token here we, we will receive the push notifications right so here we go and just make it like device registration token and let's try to send it with the hello world right so let's go and just test it so here we go with this okay so terminal so let's try to not this terminal that terminal okay let's run it here you can see hello is printing now the push notification is working here you can see okay so token is generated and the push notification is going on okay so let's dive into the code level okay so here we go with this one <clears throat> so let me explain each and every step so please be careful okay and please do comment on the video and please like the video so that it reaches to the masses and also i get benefits okay so please do that part because i'm always coming with the new things and please support me for give for boosting me and put more tutorials on it okay so here we have the load service account json file so service account path then service account okay extract the information from the service account json file we require the client email private key J define the jwt header and the payload so you have to define okay now the time you have to expiration time you can set over here okay so here we payload that we required and the scopes you need to pass okay after this encode to the base 64 this is for that one okay create the signature with the open ssl sign okay then create the jwt so jwt will create then exchange the jwt for the ss uh, token so this is the call request auth google apis dot com dot token okay so this will hit and here we are passing the grant type with the jwt bearer and assertion jwt in response it will return the access token okay and this access token i'm using into our notification so here you can see the fcm google apis project project id messages send okay so here we go with this one so here you can see that the authorization bearer ss token okay so ss token we have we can send the push notifications okay once the ss token is also there we can also do with the postman also because here you can see uh, ss token is there right ss token you can print the ss token like this let me just add this token or echo that ss token okay if i just go and with this here we receive this ss token just copy this and uh, do with the postman also if you want to do with the postman just copy just copy this and this you can see that already run just go to the postman So here you can see that pro project ID messages sent body. We have already messages, uh, token, notification, FCM notification message, title already there in the headers, authorization, bearer, token. We need to add. Just let me zoom it. So here we have the bearer token. Okay, just try to send it and uh, here we will go get the result that is sent and here you can see hey technical regime is coming okay just try to send it over here now send it here you can see hey technical regime so in the body here you can see that we have mentioned over here hey technical regime title right so get it so how to generate the ses token how to send the firebase push notifications all set any doubt any query in that 
do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day